it is Bill Atkinson of Bella Vida Dental Designs and today is your Tech in 2 and we are going to learn how to take two screw retained crowns or abutments that the doctor has sent you through the portal and make that into a cement retained three unit bridge. Now the doctor does not have the option in his software to choose a three unit bridge over the abutments for a cement retained bridge so he can only send you the screw retained or abutments. So over here he has two screw retained crowns, number two and number four. And the first thing we want to do is go over to your right here and check uh, the implant connection. So we are going to use a tie base and the doctor has used an NBA 5.0. And he selects that when he sends the crown to you. And he uses his scan post. And well, now we want to check on number four. And on number four he's done the same thing, NBA 5.0 and he has used a scan post. That's good. Now all we have to do is go right over here to the left, choose Ponic, choose number three, and that will automatically turn that into a bridge from two to four. And now we're getting ready to do our a milling. So first of all, we want to make sure that multi-layer is checked because when you design the bridge, you're going to have to split that and do your abutments separate from your uh, three-unit bridge. We're going to use our MCX5 here at our lab, and then we're going to check our veneering. You have several different manufacturers you can choose. I always choose miscellaneous if I'm using zirconia, and I would choose zirconia here, and we are going to be milling that. Then on my framework, my abutments are going to be in zirconia. I have a choice between miscellaneous and ivoclar. I choose miscellaneous and zirconia, although I have other choices here. And this is what I'm going to be milling uh, my three unit cement retained bridge. And that's all there is to it, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, Tekken 2.